here's a quick little lesson on matching colors from Acrobat to Flexi, especially for printing. Uh, what you see on the monitor right now is a red and green letters. I just typed in red and green and painted them red and green in both programs. And on the monitor, they may look pretty close to each other. But uh, when you get ready to print this over in Flexi here, I'm going to go to Soft Proof and you can see that the colors get muted and that's because of color management. If I go to Edit in Flexi and I choose Color Settings and I take a look at my color management, I'm using this sRGB for my monitor profile. I'm asking Flexi, show me what this printer, which in this case is the Mimaki UCJB300, using this profile is going to look like. And I'm just simply telling the program, show me a preview of what's going to print. Well, I can do the same thing in all Acrobat uh, Adobe products, and in, including Acrobat. Uh, let me explain. I have a whole lesson on this. We did a webinar just recently on how to match Adobe products to Flexi, but I'm going to go over it really quickly here for Acrobat. So I've got the file open over here, and what I've done is I've clicked on all tools on the left-hand side here. Okay. First, I'm going to go to Edit. Okay, and or excuse me, I'm going to go to the menu up here at the top and I'm going to choose preferences. And the very first thing I'm going to do is go down here in preferences where it says color management. And I'm going to change my working space here to match what I had over here in Flexi. So I have, uh, you know, got all these colors here. What's the working space? Let's look at Flexi here. Whoops, wrong one. Sorry. Let's look at Flexi. I'm just going to go to color settings here. This is the working space right here. So I have sRGB, right? That's what I've got up here. For the CMYK, I've got this Grackle. So let's go over here and change that to the Grackle. Okay, that's the one we want. Uh, these others here, you can leave alone. All right, just, just leave them alone and click OK on this. Okay, so now we've got the uh, color management sort of the same. But how do I soft proof this? Click on all tools over here. And you may have to actually click uh, more down here, but what you're looking for uh, is prepare, uh, sorry for printing. Uh, here he is, use print production. So click on that. And this is going to allow you to click on what's called the output preview. So I'm gonna click output preview. And you notice the colors now match what I have in Flexi. Why? Because for simulation profile here, I've chosen this 3M adhesive uh, profile. And if you take a look over in Flexi, when I look at my color preferences here under settings, I've got 3M adhesive color profile. So this one matches this one right here. All I've done is be sure and turn on simulate black ink. Uh, you can also simulate the paper color, but you don't need to do that. And basically now I am looking on the left hand side what it's going to look like when I print in Flexi with the same settings here. So I can soft proof in either program and this proves the colors are the same. Even if I close this out and I don't do this and even if this was looking the same here but they could be different looking on the monitor, I want to do my soft proof to see what it's going to look like when I print because after all that's why we're using Flexi. So uh, follow these instructions. Now there's a great webinar that I did, as I mentioned, uh, and it was an hour long and it was all about how to set up and get these settings in here because you may be wondering, how did I get this profile into my system here? Well, if you look, there's no way to actually, you know, browse to it or anything like that. This is actually profile. I just simply copied that profile from the Flexi ICC profile where that printer was and I copied it over into my Windows um, directory and I tell you what it's it's way deep down in in Windows I'll tell you that right now so uh, let me just uh, show you this let's delete that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my uh, file explorer and all I did was I went to my flexi programs so if I go down here to my uh, SAI programs it's in here somewhere there it is and I go into my programs here. I went to my ICC profiles and I chose the, the Mimaki profile and this is the one that I was using. So I right click on that and copied it. And then I went back to Windows 
and then I went down to system 32 and then I went down to this is this is what you got to do okay went down to spool okay then drivers color and then I just pasted it in here so you can actually see that profile is pasted in here after you do that and then when you restart Adobe you're actually going to see that profile located over here. So when you go into your output pro, uh, preview, you'll see it listed here. So you can see I have several that I've copied over. Uh, you can copy whatever profiles you want over here and uh, just use that then. And then you can simulate exactly what's gonna happen in Adobe uh, programs, the same as in your Flexi programs. Quick lesson there, hope you enjoy it. Uh, come on over to addendo.com. This is where we have all the experts that can help you with this kind of information. And join our free community. Go into uh, addendo.com. Up at the top, you'll see community. Just click on that. Join our community where you can discuss uh, issues on Flexi and so forth with the experts. Uh, forget about Facebook. Come on over.